Hi, this is Sean, and thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can take a Google Doc or a Google Slideshow and publish to the web. Now, in Google Docs, you have the ability to share a doc with a colleague, and what that allows you to do is share a document for editing purposes or viewing purposes, and only with that one person or with a group of people. You do also have the ability to make a document public but with publishing to the web, the difference is, is that, for instance, with a Google Slideshow, whereas you would normally present it in front of a group at a meeting, publishing a Google Slideshow allows you to put your slideshow out on the internet, either in an embedded format on a website or as a link to the web. And with a Google Doc, if you have links in your document, clicking on them means that a pop-up window opens up and requires you to click on the link in the pop-up window. You would likely want that to be something that is a one-click option if somebody's viewing that. So publishing a doc to the web allows you to have that option as well as just make your document look like a web page. So let me show you what each of these looks like. We're going to start with just a basic Google slideshow. This is just a template that I've loaded up to Google Drive and when you want to publish something like this to the web you just go up to the file menu and click publish to the web and it explains to you that you making your content visible means that anyone can see it so you do have to click publish to verify that you're okay with that and you click OK and then it tells you that you have a couple of options you can set auto advance on your slides if you'd like to for whatever time frame you want. You can also choose to have the slideshow start as soon as it loads and to restart. And that means that as soon as someone gets to the web page, the slideshow starts going, and then when it reaches the end, it starts back at the beginning. You do have the option of copying a link so that you can post it in a web browser or send it in an email. Or if you like using HTML code on a website, you can copy your HTML source code for your Google Slideshow and then post it on a website. Now since this is just sort of a plain Jane uh, Google Slideshow that I've done for just the purposes of using the template, I'm going to go back and show you what this looks like on a different one. This is a slideshow that is already set up. It's got multiple slides in it and it has actually already been published to the web. Now if I wanted to I could just copy this link and go to a new tab on my browser, paste the link in the browser, and just go. And that's what the presentation would look like. It would be full screen in the browser, and because I didn't set the auto advance up, uh, the person could click through the slideshow as you see here. Now, what does this look like if you want to publish to the web using an embed code? I have a Google site that I have set up here and it's it's ready to be edited I've already clicked on edit let me show you that real quick uh, Google sites are pretty easy to use if you're interested in those uh, when you're on the on the page and you want to edit you just click the pencil and I want to put my Google slideshow right here in this box so but since I am using HTML code I'm going to click the HTML source editor I'll go back to my slideshow click embed and I want this one to start as, some, as soon as someone reaches the page and then to restart at the end. And so then I'll just triple click to highlight all of the HTML code, right click and copy, go back to my site and drop that code in by pasting it, click update and then save my page. Now not all web pages are going to work in the exact same manner but as long as you can get to your HTML source editor, you can drop or paste in that code any, just exactly as I did here. So that explains a little bit about how to publish a Google Slideshow. Let me next show you what it looks like if you were to publish a doc to the web. Now over here I have an agenda that I used for a training and it has a web link in it. Now as I said earlier if I were to share this with someone 
then if they wanted to get to this link, they would have to click on it and this pop-up opens and then they would have to click again to open that page. I would rather my users have the ability to click on that link directly and just in one click go straight to the site. So I'm going to publish this to the web. I just go to the file menu and click publish to the web. And again, it, it wants you to click publish first and OK that. It wants to make sure that you understand what you're doing. And then, I, again, I have the option of either copying the link or using an embed code. Um, let me also point out that uh, you also have the ability to post your document using social media. So if you wanted to use it on Google Plus or Twitter or Facebook or just in an email, you can do that if you want to. I'm going to copy this link and show you what it looks like in a web page. So I'll paste that in my browser line and hit enter. And you can see it does look a little bit different than it would in a doc, um, namely because I do have a picture in here. But you'll notice that this link now is just a one-click option and it takes me straight to the page so I don't have to worry about extra clicks. Now if this was going to be something that I published uh, using an embed code, let me show you what that looks like. I'll go back to my document. I'll copy the embed code. And as I said, uh, most HTML editors, pretty simple to use. You just put your cursor where you would like to put the embed code. But if you've already got a lot of graphics and text and information on the page, clicking that HTML button is going to show you a lot of different stuff. And it's kind of confusing for people sometimes just knowing where to put something if they're not already familiar with HTML code. So let me show you a little trick that you can use. Let's say, for instance, you put your cursor where you would like your document to appear, and then you type any kind of arbitrary word like frog on the page. Then when you click the HTML button, you look for that word that you just typed, frog, and there it is. I'll highlight that, and then I'll use Control V on my keyboard to paste over that word. It dumps my HTML code in there. I click Update and Save and there's my document it's on the page and it's ready to be seen for the world now again this is a, a document so it looks a little bit different here you may have to mess around with the code a little bit so that you can get it to appear exactly as you want so if i want that to appear a little bit wider i'll have to mess with this gadget that's been created for this document to do that you just click on the gadget click the settings now this is specifically for Google Sites, so keep in mind I am, a, I am using Google Sites for this. And I'm going to change the width to 800 and change the height to 900. And I do want the scroll bar to be included and I want a border and I'll click OK and save. And so now when it reloads you can see that my document looks a little bit more like it used to when I was using it back here in Google Drive. So that's just a quick tutorial on publishing documents to the web. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.